Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with more information about The Sims 4, the upcoming game coming in 2014 from Maxis. And what I have here in front of us is the October 2013 edition of PC Gamer. Now, this is the UK edition, so that's why we see, for example, the pounds. 20 pounds up here in the top. So this is the UK edition of PC Gamer. And what do we see right here yonder on the bottom left-hand side? I'm going to point it out to you right here. The Sims 4 on the couch with Life Sims Moody sequel. Let's see what it has to say. Here's the article in question, and it says, All these feels. The Sims 4 brings emotion to the series for the first time. I'm going to zoom in so we can get everything up close here, and I have, as usual, taken the time for you and read the article ahead of time and highlighted the juiciest parts. Before I read this article, I want to let you know to stay tuned because I have an extremely interesting reveal about The Sims 4 and sexy time, as it were, <laughs> in The Sims 4 coming up after this article. So stay tuned. Down here on the left hand side, it says In The Sims 4, Maxis are bringing, it does say are bringing, the, f <laughs> the full weight of emotion to bear on the shoulders of the game's tidy, tiny aut automata. Try saying that one. Tiny automata. I think that's a fancy word for the little sims. Okay. And an argument might leave a sim feeling angry, while professional failure might lead to depression. A darkened room lit by flickering candles might spur your sim into a romantic state, an emotion I suggested several unpublishable names for during my visit. We have a naughty reporter here. Down here, continuing, under second that emotion, it says, the emotion system replaces the binary happy and sad states of prior sims with 14 feelings that impact that character's behavior. This is where I'd like some comments from you below in down below the video leave a comment about how you feel about this because i'll let you know my opinion is that it's saying there are in previous games there were a binary binary happy and sad states this is not true it's basically saying there's only two states of emotions that the sims felt before happy and sad or you know basically a just kind of a quick range between happy and sad states this writer obviously was not a Sims player, or at least a heavy-duty one, because if you have been watching my Sims 2 Let's Play, and I invite you to do so with a link in the description box below, but if you have been enjoying that Let's Play, you'll know that in a previous episode that just posted a few weeks ago, we saw a Sim be jealous and follow uh, the Sim that it was jealous about to another location, to another lot, to express her jealousy and dis... Uh, disdain, as it were, for what that sim was doing. And that sim was on a date with another sim, which is why the first sim was jealous. And the first, and that sim was on that date because the jealous sim had just hit the other sim in the eye with a football, making him so angry that he decided to leave her and go off with another sim. That all happened in one episode, and that's The Sims 2. So I don't consider that to be binary, happy and sad states. I let me know if you beg to differ in the in the uh, comments below. It also says an impressive new animation system enables everything from a sim's facial expression to their walk to be impacted by mood, and it'll even change the sound of their voice and the kind of things they talk about to other sims. I've also I'm going to scroll down here in case you guys haven't seen some of these graphics. Most of us have at this point since Game Calm came out. 
But here they are again for you. And we have some images as I continue to scroll down here. I'm going to read them for you. Just in case. And I do that for those of you who are on mobile. On your um, iPads and all of that. If only my parties were this sophisticated in real life. Is what it says here. Over here it says. I'm starting to resent how much better my Sims life is than my own. Down here, continuing to scroll down, it says, Your Sim can now multitask. For instance, cooking and arguing. I'm not sure if that's really a, a benefit. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that works out. It's hard enough to get the Sims to cook as it is. So if they can stop in the middle of cooking and burn their food by having a tit for tat with their spouse, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we'll see how it works out. Down here it says, the construction tool set has been majorly updated. And one last over here. Looks like these guys are winding up for a good treadmill session. I'm not sure what he's referring to. Maybe the fact that the, you can argue and be on the treadmill at the same time. Moving on, we have, over here on the left, characters can now move much more realistically. And in a series, first, a group of Sims can walk down a staircase one by one without looking like they're recreating the video for daft punks around the world. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys know what that means? <laughs> Tell me what that means in the comments. I, I don't know what he's talking about, but... That's okay, because I don't know Daft Punk, so there, there's that. <laughs> but if he's saying that Sims can now move down the stairs one at a time, they could do that in The Sims too. so I don't see what the big benefit to that is. Furthermore, you can direct people to multitask. Watching TV while eating, that would be new, for example. Or telling ant antidotes around the dinner table in ways... <laughs> now, let me go back to this. It says, and let me read that more clearly again. Watching TV while eating, for example, or telling anecdotes around the dinner table. So, once again, you can tell anecdotes, that's a fancy word for stories, um, around the dinner table already. My Sims talk to each other around the dinner table and tell each other what's going on with school. Uh, one of my new Sims in The Sims 2 is pregnant, and she has been explaining to her girls at dinner how mommy makes daddy pregnant. <laughs> It's very cute, their dinner table conversation. <laughs> the girls are, you know, fairly young children, so it's fun. <laughs> anyway, in ways that make, make micromanaging your Sims' individual needs less arbitrary. Fans of John Osborne, I don't know who that is, let me know who that is in the comments, will note that it is now possible to direct your Sims to have an argument while washing the dishes, which he had mentioned already. Every emotion confers a benefit of some kind even negative ones. Your, if your character is enraged, you can direct them to work out on a treadmill more intensely. Not only will they burn off the anger, but the workout itself will be more effective. Maybe they will get thinner quicker or their fitness will improve quickly. This then feeds into the game's broader objective, which is to populate the world with engaging characters. Because athleticism is a prerequisite for working in the space program, You'll probably want to ensure, got to scroll back up here, ensure that your would-be astronaut is always angry at something. Angry astronaut sounds like a pretty interesting guy. So we may have a space program uh, career. So that's been a new news. Depressed Sims make better writers, quips executive producer Rachel Franklin during a presentation. There's an uneasy ripple of laughter around the table. I consider asking if Sims that feel pleased with themselves give better presentations, but don't. So that's just the writer being snarky there. But basically what it's saying is that depressed Sims can make good writers, so we'll still have the ability to write in the game, which is good, using the computer. Many of the benefits unlocked by emotions take form, in, take form of new interactions with objects in the environment. Sad Sims can paint an exclusive set of paintings, for example, and then Sims that pass those paintings on the wall will 
have some of that emotional weight transferred to them, a technique that could be called revenge, but is also another way of interacting with the time management game, ticking away underneath every Sims session. I'm also told that Sims under the sway of romance will unlock the power to woo-hoo in the shower. Again, that's not the word I have chosen. You'll also have greater control over the memories that come to define a Sim's outlook on life. I just want to stop and say a little word about the woo-hoo in the shower. Sims could already do that in The Sims 2, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, I think they can do that in The Sims 3. I'm wrong about that. But um, in The Sims 2, you can use the bathroom in the shower if you're a very lazy or unclean Sim. That's always kind of gross. Anyway... <laughs> You'll, have, you'll also have greater control over the memories that come to define a Sim's outlook on life. Unlike The Sims 3, where these sometimes feel arbitrary, that was, uh, let's see, you'll assign emotional significance to, your, to events yourself. Let me read that again for you guys. That was a messy sentence. Unlike The Sims 3, where these sometimes felt arbitrary, you'll assign emotional significance to events yourself. This is important, you guys. This means that if something happens in a Sim's life, we can determine, at least according to this, how emotional the, the Sim felt about that. At least that's what I think this says. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Reminisce, reminiscing about these later is a way of carrying, say, the emotional high following a wedding into the years to come. Once again, this is something that's still, this is available already in The Sims 2. If a Sim gets married, they'll, they'll talk about that with other Sims. They'll think about the memories long after the event is over. Um, they will be angry with a Sim, you know, long after an event is over, uh, let's say a fight or a breakup or cheating or something like that. I once had a Sim in one of my neighborhoods who was angry at a man who broke up with her for years afterwards. I was just like, let it go sister let it go but she would not and that was part of her story so that said if you choose to make the associations associations more arbitrary the game won't stop you if you wanted you could say that your sim remembers a particular sh shower and he's super ecstatic about it <laughs> that could be one of his moments so if you really wanted to make a sim be super, super ecstatic about making, you know, a new dish or something, then you could do that. Although once again, still in The Sims 2, you can do that already. Sims will often think about a dish that they made for quite some time. It won't be a situation where the objectives have to have an emotional connotation. Let me scroll down here. I'll tell you what these pictures say in just a second after I'm done reading this little paragraph here. You won't be thinking, oh man, I really want that new stove, but it's the sad stove. It's more selective than that. So she's saying that the emotions aren't attached to every single thing. They are more selective in the things that they're attached to so that the game isn't just this emotional train wreck. It does sound like this is the version of The Sims where they will be in desperate need of therapy. Let's read some of the captions up here. My sim seems to have a motivation for working out that I lack in real life. The Build-A-Sim tool is pretty sophisticated. And scrolling down here, this says, You can get the abs or curves you want without a single sit-up. <laughs> we all wish that was true. Yeah, that seems to be working. You might be getting some woohoo tonight, dude. She does look like she's enjoying that music. This is great. This is the first I've heard an, about in all of The Sims. This box here is what I'm referring to. And it says, That emotion, the, the things Sims feel and the skills it makes them better at. Elated makes you better at socializing. Depressed makes you better at writing. Inspired makes you better at painting. Romantic makes you better at, guess what? Dating. 
and angry makes you better at exercising. That's why they have that punching bag that we all saw in the up upcoming uh, uh, game demo. Over here on the left, it says, you still, they're talking about the build mode now, which we have not yet seen, but I assure you that the minute I get information, new information or new video about the build mode, I will put it up as fast as I can find it. Anyway, this is what it shows so far, and it has a little, a couple of interesting new pieces of news that I haven't heard yet, so listen up. You still lay out foundations, walls, and furniture on an isometric grid. But the game now recognizes when a walled-off area constitutes a room and is capable of smartly rescaling and repositioning that room, decor and all, on the fly. We've already seen that. Basically, it's when you can take a whole room and pick it up and slap it down somewhere else. Those are all fancy words for just saying that, basically. And it includes the furniture and the paintings and all the decor. No more redesigning an entire house because you made the kitchen one tile too narrow for the fridge you wanted. <laughs> Once again, he's not a Sims player or not a very good one because, at least as far as I know, all, t all uh, refrigerators are one tile. <laughs> It'll also be possible to adjust ceiling height. This is important, you guys. We can make the ceilings higher or lower. So we can make a nice low cave-like room, or we can make a nice tall room with, hopefully, with tall windows. So it has, at least according to this writer, ceiling height is confirmed. It will also be possible to adjust ceiling height, allowing for much greater architectural freedom. The game's art style has shifted, too, away from what Max's view as a Bostonian style towards an atmospheric southern look, featuring multi-level gallery houses that recall New Orleans. The world is still dazzlingly vibrant, but the color palette is being managed carefully. I see concept art for a nighttime neighborhood drenched in deep purples and oranges set off with dark green foliage. It's an atmospheric image. It's not something I've associated with the series before. He's talking about an image that if you get the new future expansion pack for The Sims 3, you'll see the same image that he's talking about as an Easter egg in that expansion pack. The new Build-A-Sim tool works remarkably like the revamped Eve character creator that debu debuted with the MMO's Incarna expansion. All of those fancy words mean that the new build a sim tool, which allows us to push and pull sims and mold them like clay, is very similar to the Eve, if you've played Eve, the MMO, which I have not. It's very similar. That's what it's saying. In The Sims 4, I'm over here on the right now, in The Sims 4, you sculpt your character by clicking and dragging on their areas of their body, which highlight as your mouse passes over them. You can make your sim tubby, thin, or gangly, giving them a hooked nose or cram their eyes close together. Then an array of other details, voice, musculature, their default walk, complete their personality. A lot of this is stuff that we have seen. If you haven't, check out my cast video on my website, which shows you all the neat little fun things that are in The Sims 4. Create a Sim right now. I mentioned to you, so that's the end of the article. And I mentioned to you at the beginning of this video to stay tuned because there was some sexy information coming up and I'm going to show it to you right here and right now. That is the entire uh, article. This is all that we saw here. And I'm just going to re-show re it to you again. So there's the whole article. But there's something really fun. If we go to the back cover and scroll in a little bit, you will see that there is an ad here for The Sims 4. And I'm going to zoom in on it so we can see it up close. Keep your eyes peeled. This is the fun part. At the top it says it's all over, and it shows The Sims 4, which I guess they must be uh, teaming up with Ikea again. Uh, they did so in The Sims 2 and created an Ikea stuff pack, which has a lot of good stuff in it. So this is concept art for some of the furniture that's coming in to the game. 
and it shows you the different romantic states that the Sims can have. Now, there has been a rumor that this is a um, a Photoshop, you know, that this is not true, but this is absolutely true. This is a real ad for The Sims 4 done by Maxis, not by, it's not a hoax, it is real. We are looking at the PC Gamer magazine, and if you want to verify, and if you are in the UK and can get your hands on this, please do verify this and let me know, all of us know in the comments. Head over to a newsstand, buy the new UK version of the PC Gamer, and check out page 130. That's where this ad resides. But the most important fun part is down here. I'm going to use my little red highlight tool here to show you these. Over here we have the bed for 300 pounds. And it shows you the different things that you can do right here. And what does it say on the bottom there? Yep, it says, depressed, solo woohoo in the pillow fort. Yep. It looks like our Sims will be able to do the M word. Kids, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ask your mom and your dad in the Sims 4. Yes, the happy naughty all by yourself in the sims 4 and this is over here a mirror and it shows the different states and i'll ask you to go to 720p if you're not on a mobile and take a look at these but i'll read them real quick it says elated ruins sense of self-work worth it says romantic agonize over related attractiveness and it says inspired decide to wear a hat this is all the things you can do in a mirror based on your emotions all the things you can do with a lava lamp based on your emotions. A lava lamp is what I mean to say. Romantic, ex expectantly switch on lava lamp. Depressed, question decision to buy, purchase lava lamp. Angry, resent stupid lava lamp. And then lastly over here we have a statue. Elated, it truly says this you guys. Marvel at socioeconomic conditions that prevent or permit statue ownership. Those are a whole lot of uh, fancy words that mean be glad you have enough money to buy a fancy statue. <laughs> Inspired, put hat on statue. Romantic, have long-sided, one-sided conversation with statue. Depressed, see above. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it looks like we have some great things to look forward to here in the upcoming Sims 4, including solo woohoo, y'all. Talk about it in the comments below. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below for more news about The Sims 4. And if you loved what you saw, join the ever-growing party. Thank you to all the new subscribers. And subscribe yourself. Let me know what you think about Solo Woohoo, about the build mode features, about depressed, angry, happy, and joyful Sims in the comments below. And I'll see you with new news from The Sims 4. When I get it, you'll get it in the next episode. Thanks, as always, for watching. Get every new Jessa Channel video right in your email inbox. Subscribe, then from your YouTube homepage, click Manage Subscriptions, then check Email with new uploads. And thanks for watching.